This is Ryan with MMA Viking here with Gunnar Nelson on Thursday, a couple of days out from the big fight on Saturday on the main card this time. Yeah. I know from talking with you last time, I wanted to dig into a little bit as you always talk about routines and, and keeping things the same. Has anything changed in your preparations for this bout? Um, no, not really. I stayed home for, for all this preparation. I stayed in Iceland and we got a few uh, few good training partners coming over. And Kahal Pendre is one of them. He's a, he's a very, very well decorated fighter in Europe uh, from Dublin. And, we have uh, the same coach, John Cavanaugh. So my preparation has been—it's uh, been great, you know. The atmosphere and the training back home this is so much better than a few years ago, and it's just, I'm very uh, grateful for how things are going. And how so I enjoy my uh, training. Great. Yeah, it's, it seems like it's nice to be at home in a short trip for you um, again here. I know you had another, it seems like the same routine as last time, another late change in an opponent. Uh, talk to me about how much you actually know about George Santiago and, and how much you've actually thought about his style and how to approach this fight. Um, I haven't seen too much of him. I've seen a couple of fights and uh, he's ve very well-rounded and it uh, looks like he's a, he's more of a jiu-jitsu fighter. His, his style is He's very uh, like strong on the ground. He's he's a decorated black belt, I believe. And, but he's he, he's comfortable on the feet as well, and he's a very experienced MMA fighter. So and, you know, I'll expect anything, you know. So just going in there and, and get a feel and start creating openings. Great and. I, I think last time, I, I know you're not one for predictions, but it sounds like it seemed like you had, you can envision different ways that the fight could end. Is it is it the same this time, or have you like thought about this bout differently with such a highly decorated veteran? Um, I, I say I, I picture this similar, you know, maybe a different energy on, on the ground, I believe. But, um, you know, a fight is a fight, and you never kind of know until you get in there, for me anyway. But I, I'd say, um, I'd say for this fight, there'll be a different energy on the ground. But, you know, you're always looking for the same thing, you know? It seems you're really focused and uh, are one that's really able to have a unique uh, outlook, at least, that might be different from other fighters. How, like, how aware are you of like, other fights on the back? Could you name all the other fighters? Are you that in tune with like, the event and what, what's going on, or you have uh, a single focus? Well, I, I couldn't name all the guys, but I know some guys. I know, uh, of course, my opponent, Santiago. <laughs> Uh, Paul Sass is, is one fighter that I know and I've, I've trained with him before. Um, and then I, I, I know people by looking at them, I don't usually remember too many names, but then if you'd say I might know who, who it is, but yeah, my, my focus has been on my training and, and I, I don't, I guess uh, maybe, maybe it's different with me than, than most people or and I always like to say that I've never been anyone else than myself, so it's, it's not really fair when you say this, but maybe I, uh, maybe I don't concentrate as much on people as people do. You know? maybe, maybe I'm more concentrating on the things that, that are happening, the things that we're doing together, than necessarily you as a journalist or a person, and more, more I'd be focusing on your questions. You know? <laughs> Uh, one, I've had a couple uh, emails in, uh, about this topic in one of your highlight videos. You were shown eating like a delicacy of like an animal's head. Is that like an Iceland like uh, tradition, or, or can you tell us about what you were eating and, and the heritage of that? Yeah, that's an old tradition, and that's yeah, uh, that's sheep's head. And uh, I actually have a funny story about that because my uh, my coach from from Manchester, Carl Tanswell, he uh, 
I was training with him. He, he's a very, a very good friend of mine and, and a funny guy. He, he can make me laugh, really. And once I was talking to, um, I was talking to this guy at, at his gym, and he's kind of giving me me a hard time for eating sheep's head. That's normal, you know. Not everybody eats sheep's head. And he, he keeps on about it. Then then finally, Carl comes along and, and says to him, "Look, if if you lived in a freezing desert and you stumble across a, a sheep." You eat every bit of the cunt too, wouldn't you? <laughs> that's, that's pretty, I think that's probably where the tradition comes from. You know, there's yeah. not too much food, and, and when you stumble across a sheep, you you eat every bit of the cunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, uh, hopefully, in some of that, those ingredients are maybe still with you and give you this magic uh, ability of what you do out there. And we wish you luck on on Saturday and your return to the octagon. Thanks very much.